Hello, this is Desert Gypsy with a review and demonstration of the Panda new compact portable washing machine that they've just come out with in January of 2013. I recently upgraded to this machine, which is, as you can see, a twin tub unit. It has not only the washer side here on the left, but it also has the spin dryer side here on the right, which is very convenient because it takes up very little space to do nearly any, the entire job of washing and spin drying the clothes. Um, my former machine, this one here, the Panda Mini, is the single unit that just has the washer. And I'll demonstrate the differences between the two so you can see maybe one of these would be appropriate for your needs. I'm a single person in an apartment with no washer dryer hookups and this machine has been great to take care of my needs. Um, as you can see here, I have one pair of blue jeans in the load. It's about a size 20 women, so it's actually a very big piece of heavy clothing. And uh, I'm just going to turn that off right now so we can hear a little better. And I want to explain what they mean by five pounds of clothes. Here we have zero on the scale. We'll put this damp pair of blue jeans on here. And the reading comes up at uh, three pounds, 14 ounces. So that's one to two items in a load when you're having something this heavy is really important. As you can see, you know, it's drippy. And let's put it in and see what happens. Um, as you can see, it doesn't take up too much space in that machine. We're going to set the timer. And let's see, turn the electricity on would help. I can see it's got a very powerful motor and spins at a very, um, very hard RPM there. With the machine next to it, a little more gentle. Okay, I've just turned off both of the machines so we can hear a little bit better. If you were going to be starting from the beginning, here's your inlet hose that it comes with. It has this um, nozzle attachment for a regular kitchen sink faucet. It'll work for that, but not here in the bathroom as you can see with the tub. So I use a diverter which goes from the top of the shower here to this um, little unit called a rapid bath dog bather. But for me, this is super simple because even one-handed, I can use this little item. You just press the on button here. And uh, let's see if we can't get that to go. Oh, there we are. And so you could actually, you know, do two things at once by not having to hold that. So uh, for me, the diverter is the best way to fill it. So um, speaking about filling, at the back of the unit here, you'll see there's a blue item right here, which is your lint filter. You have to take that out after your load is finished. Make sure there's no lint caught up in there to make sure the machine functions efficiently. So let's turn off the additional water. Okay. And uh, so as you can see, the machine, I'll turn it on one more time to demonstrate the washing action. I recommend strongly that when washing heavy items like blue jeans or sweaters, that you would use a knit bag like this to place the item in. Because as the heavy items uh, go down, sink with their heavy weight in the water, they will hit that agitator and get bogged up and start um, getting tangled. So if you use a zipper bag like this, it's actually super convenient and helps the clothes get clean but not tangled. So let's try the dryer side of this as well. You simply just pick it up, move it from one side to the next. Um, there, it does come with a little uh, item like this in the dryer side. You take that and push the clothing down as far as you can. You then close it, make sure it's snapped down, this as well. And on here, you would turn the right hand um, timer and that is then going to drain and spin the clothes dry. We'll give that about one minute. The washer side actually was still going, so as you can see, we'll still run if you're using the spin dryer side as well. You can actually turn that to drain. I'll show you the drain action. 
the center button up here drains both the washer side and the spin dryer. So we'll see. Now you can see out the bathtub the water is actually draining out quite quickly. Okay. Now, even after, I'm going to turn the electricity off again so we can hear better. Even after just one minute of spin, we're going to take these blue jeans out and I will show you with a paper towel to see approximately how much water was taken out. Uh, paper towel, please. Thank you, my lovely assistant. Um, let's just give that a good hard press. Let's see. Okay, as you can see here on the paper towel, just a tiny, tiny bit of water came through to the other side, but um, my clothes of heavy weight like this tend to dry in one to two hours when hung up, you know, on a dry day here in the summer. So here's the setup I have. I hope uh, this demonstration has showed you the capability of the machine. And uh, again, as far as size and shape, um, just to have a little reference here, those are the tape measure. The first line at the bottom there is one foot, the second line is two feet. So again, approximately two feet tall, again, about two feet wide. And here's the difference between the two, Panda Mini and Pan Panda Compact Portable Washer. If you have any further questions I haven't covered, please message me by using the comments section on this review and I'll attempt to get back to you as soon as possible. Hope this helps, bye-bye.